Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 11th, 2024. Well, today's the day we're going to get the CPI report, highly anticipated report for this week. Who knows what happens once we get that report, but Let's take a look at these charts, try to shake off any bias, and let's see if we can figure out how we might um, address the market today. But before we get into that, let's take a look at what happened here overnight. Asian markets were down across the board last night, a little bit on the bearish side. Um, the Nikkei fell 1.49%, which was kind of the worst of it. Shanghai fell. 0.82 saw um, Hong Kong was down 0.73 so just um, uh, a bit of a, a bearish move I think probably in a wait for um, some of these economic numbers on the opposite side of that coin European markets are trying to be bullish today after selling off yesterday they're working on bullish moves with the DAX up 0.32%, the FTSE 0.09%, and the CAC up 0.21%. Interestingly enough, well, we've got the futures here in the U.S. looking lower. The Dow is now uh, looking at a 150-point uh, decline, down 0.37%. S&P 500 uh, down 0.27%, and the NASDAQ down 0.31%. Everyone has a different opinion as we wait for this very important uh, data that's likely to move the market. If we take a look at oil prices here this morning, well, oil prices are rebounding this morning off of uh, major fears yesterday um, and a really sharp decline. If we take a look at um, OIH oil holders, boy, ugly move yesterday, but we're trying to bounce back up. And even if we take a look at producers in here, big, ugly uh, fall yesterday with a break of a major support area. So we're trying to get a little bit of lift this morning as this storm rolls in to the Gulf and worries of supply disruptions um, are creeping up. Uh, now I guess a category one and the suggestion that it could be category two by the time it hits the coast or comes uh, comes ashore. So keep an eye on the details of that storm. We're also going to get petroleum numbers today that could have um, substantial impact on those oil numbers. Um, let's take a look at what we've got going here in cryptos this morning. Boy, talk about um, volatile. Um, Bitcoin reversing uh, a couple of days of upside move and right now this morning, um, showing uh, Bitcoin down $1,350 an ounce, or 2.34%. Ether is down 2.74%, and we're red across the board in those cryptos this morning. If we take a look at precious metals, well, uh, gold trying to make a... Um, a pre-market gap up. It's pulling back a little bit already this morning, but as you can see, gold is trying to move higher. Right now, gold futures up $7.20 an ounce. Um, they've been up over $8 an ounce um, and could be pushing toward all-time highs here. Silver is also up this morning, gapping a little bit higher this morning. Copper is slightly higher, but I'm not seeing that making any major difference in um, any of these um, copper stocks. They're still in very bearish patterns. Uh, platinum is down, but palladium is something you might want to keep an eye on as well. Palladium making a big surge back up may work to challenge this resistance area up here in the chart and break back through. Um, that's where I would have some additional interest in it. So keep an eye on that. If we take a look at bonds this morning, well, those bonds, they're um, very, very weak this morning. The two-year bond is at 3.58%. The 10-year uh, is at 3.62%. And the 30-year is at 3 
0.94% on those yields, which means that we're likely to see a surge to the upside or a continued surge to the upside in things like TLT, BND, um, any of these bond funds showing lots and lots of strength, as I've been suggesting all week to keep an eye on those very nice looking charts um, as those bond yields come down. But remember, they could fluctuate dramatically today with those seeds. So what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Um, let's take a look at these charts. Remember, we want to shake off that bias and try to determine how we might want to approach the market for today, remembering that here before the bell, everything can change. Everything can change really quickly, depending on how the market reacts to the CPI report. And remember, it really isn't important what the number is. What's important is how the market reacts to that number. So if we take a look, as you can see, we had a pretty good rally at the end of the day. Earlier in the day, this was a bearish engulfing candle looking pretty ugly, but you can see we're gapping back down just a little tiny bit below that support level here this morning. If the bears were to find additional inspiration today, then pushing back down to retest that low, and I think the real critical low would be the low of that big black candle. If we were to drift down into there, well, then I think we have that possibility that we could move pretty quickly to fill this gap and test our 200 day, or excuse me, our 50 day moving average in the diamonds. Now, I'm not suggesting that that's where we're going because I think there's an equal chance that the bulls could find inspiration today in the data and push up. And the first thing we're gonna have to do is maybe push right up through this little area right in here see if we can break back through there and then of course right back up here into this fairly substantial resistance area as you can see extends all the way over into here um, breaking through that level of course then we're going to start moving on up and we're going to start testing these levels up here once again and maybe even progressing back toward all-time highs in the diamonds if we take a look at our spy spy had a good recovery yesterday after retesting this support in the chart. And the good news is it did not come all the way down to retest the low of that big black candle. But unfortunately, it also hasn't been able to rally back up to um, recover the top side of that candle. We came close, but just couldn't get her done yesterday. So if the bears were to find inspiration on this move today, then I would look for a retest of this level down in here. Breaking down below there, a retest of that Friday low. And beyond that point, well, it gets pretty ugly here for the QQQ. We could see some big potential moves happen if those bears were to really engage pushing us on down. And that would likely take us into a failure of that 50 day moving average pattern, which is one of my favorite shorting patterns in the market. We call it the blue ice failure. If we take a look at um, the upside opportunities here in the market, breaking through that the top of that big black candle is going to be really important and certainly the data today could easily do that getting us back above that 50-day moving average in the spy and then we'd start looking for that push on up to see if we can test some of these resistance levels in the chart pushing on through um, significant resistance up in here that we'll have to deal with as we progress back to the upside if we take a look at our QQQ, well, QQQ also had a good day yesterday after rebounding back on the day. You can see we're gapping just slightly lower this morning um, in the pre-market. But we want to be keeping in mind um, downtrend areas and things like that in the chart that are showing up. And if the bears 
were to find inspiration here today, then pushing back down to start testing some of these levels down in here look very, very possible. Um, and even coming into a retest of that uh, Friday black candle. Uh, beyond that point, uh, the market's going to become, I think, pretty fearful if we were to break below there because we can move pretty swiftly. And you can see this support area in here that I've got drawn is off a pretty significant area of price support and if that were to fail then my suggestion is we would come down and we would retest the underneath side of that pattern in there and what the way i drew that line it's kind of fuzzy in there it could be a pretty big range so keeping in mind if the bears were to really get going coming down in there could be possible and that would test that 200 day moving average in the chart and maybe complete this pattern after failing the 50 day and having this moving average squeeze over the top if we take a look at the bullish side of this if the bulls can push through and i think there's every reason to believe that they could do that a gap above or a push above that big black candle in Friday, then we'd start progressing back up and we're going to have to get through this next big black candle up here to the upside to really make any changes. And we've got several levels of resistance um, in the chart above there, including this part of the downtrend that we've got to get through. And then this major downtrend up here in the chart on the queue. So keep a close eye on that. And then if we look at our IWM, poor IWM just continues to suffer from lack of attention. I think we had to, you know, there for a while we were really getting busy with IWM, um, pushing back into tech and things like that um, that ha has happened, really has um, pulled a lot of um, energy away from IWM. And you can see if we pull this back, well, we're still a long ways from breaking through major resistance levels here in the chart for the upside. This uh, trend that I've got in here, you can you could draw this in several different ways and it's probably not drawn real tightly in there. Breaking below that trend and breaking back below this uh, important area of price support in the chart is a problem i think for the russell but today the data that we have could certainly make some changes here if the bears continue to find inspiration a retest of the low in there yesterday um would be you know, seems like a pretty likely place to be testing and once we start breaking down below there well we're going to start progressing through some of these levels here in the chart uh, we'll want to be watching that pretty closely because i think it would really raise some fear in the market as we pull back and possibly come into a test of the 200 day moving average if the bulls however find that inspiration then a break above this area of price resistance is going to be the first step and um, certainly possible today so popping through here then we would start looking at some of these resistance levels as we progress back up in the chart um, for those bulls and then pushing back up into this downtrending area for those price resistance areas to be watching let's take a look at our vix our vix yesterday although we pushed up during the day we ended up by the end of the day pulling this back we're sitting right here on this price support area of the chart so um, today could really change things a lot here if um, those CPI numbers um, uh, really support the bulls then I would look for that support area in here to break to the downside and that would relieve probably a lot of pressure that the bulls are feeling right now um, in their positions and we might start coming down testing some of these levels in the chart and uh, get rid of some of that fear and maybe even improve some of those option prices in the market. If, however, the bears were to engage here, that would constitute that higher low and possibly the beginning of an upside trend here in the VIX and would likely raise some major concern. We would probably start progressing up through these levels in here and then of course up above here, 
well, it gets pretty painful in the VIX, and we could see that spike moving us back up. Keep an eye, close eye on that, because the data uh, today certainly has the potential of doing both sides of that move. If we take a look at our uh, T2122, our T2122 indicator, well, we had a nice little relief rally at the end of the day. Um, earlier in the day, we were pushing back down here in that area of the chart. So we ended up basically flat. We just kind of seesawed here on our T2122 yesterday, meaning that we have opened pretty good opportunity for the bears to move down if they find uh, bearish inspiration. And we've got a very large upside opportunity for those bulls if we can find bullish inspiration in the data today. Your guess is as good as mine as to where that's going to go. T2108. T2108 uh, ended the day just turned up ever so slightly, but pretty flat. Not much happened here, but that chop that we were expecting yesterday. We did hold on to this support area. I, th I think that's a good thing for the market, but you know, 40.41% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average is pretty tough to build a, you know, a huge roaring bullish case here uh, for T2108. So yeah, watch that closely. Um, we could go either direction on this today. And the same thing with T2107. Um, we didn't quite make it back up to flat yesterday. Um, at the worst of the day, we had broken this support, but we did climb back up there to just rest right on that level. You can see there's a good support area in here. So if the bulls find inspiration to bounce off of there, should not be a surprise. But here again, below the 50 day moving average, so, or 50% area, not the 50 day moving average, which means we have just about an equal amount of stocks that are above their 200 day and below their 200 day moving average tough to it's kind of a neutral market and which means i think anything can happen here if we take a look at our t2101 well t2101 interestingly enough had breadth declining yesterday so on that rebound in the market we didn't catch any major breadth it was just a choppy consolidating day as i suggested it just happened to be big point swings which were kind of uh, kind of the norm for um, uh, the market these days so watch that carefully remember by the end of this week we're really going to be slipping into that uh, about half of the companies in their corporate buyback blackout um, they won't be able to influence that stock and we really typically see breadth in the market decline as that occurs because the corporate buyback activity is such a big part of the market volume anymore. So watch that carefully here. Certainly today, if we get good economic data, I really could see that opportunity that corporate buyback activity would rush in here today, pushing us back up, you know, trying to buy that dip so to speak, uh, from the institutional standpoint and picking up their own stock. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar here for today. And our economic calendar, well, what I've been talking about, obviously, um, is the most notable thing of the day. We've got mortgage applications coming out this morning. Um, probably going to be largely ignored because everyone is so focused in on the CPI number. Looking in here, you can see they're looking at the month over month to stay flat and the year over year to decline from 2.9 to 2.6. If you go in the year over year ex, um, um, energy, food and energy um, on month over month, suggesting it stays flat and next food and energy year over year. Consensus is suggesting it stays flat. So how we might react to numbers like this um, is anyone's guess but just keep a close eye on that to, uh, to this morning. Um, we're gonna have a quarterly services survey. We're gonna have a petroleum status number, which of course could be important, excuse me, could be important based on 
how volatile oil has been. And we saw those major declines in supplies last week. Um, that'll be an interesting number today to be paying attention to. Treasury buyback announcement again, and then we've got a four month bill auction and a 10 year uh, note auction that might be rather interesting today, depending on how the market reacts to these numbers. Going into Thursday, remember, we're not out of the woods yet. We're going to come into that jobless claims number and the PPI number. We've got a natural gas report, some bond auctions treasury statement um, and a fed balance sheet there on friday so still some major major numbers coming our way on thursday to be thinking about and preparing for let's take a look at our earnings calendar here for today our earnings calendar well it's pretty light on the day this morning really the only notable um that i can come up with um, would be oxm and um Probably not all that notable um, actually so OXM would be this morning this afternoon we have a few more we're gonna hear from Cal um, this afternoon um, keep an eye on that we're gonna hear from Kroger this afternoon love will be in here today and signet jewelers um, something to be paying attention to those are those notables uh, for today so let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, and that would be click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to, to continue to grow. Thank you so much to everyone who takes time to do that you know i do my very best to try to answer those comments and if you guys have questions or suggestions please feel free to drop those in the comment section as well um, i do take a lot of those um, ideas under suggestion and try to incorporate incorporate some of those things that you might want to see in these prep videos so let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up remember everyone these aren't recommendations to buy or sell any security you need to do your own due diligence be very very careful particularly on days with big market data like this because anything is possible prepare for whipsaws and um, um, remember to follow your trading rules and your trading guidelines. Well, first thing I've got to continue to point out is old boring stocks um, like AT&T. Now, by the way, uh, my bias has gone on AT&T. I took this trade off for a 60% profit yesterday. Um, AT&T has been running to the upside here and uh, looks like it's willing to hold at least in the, uh, this morning. Um, because we're running to the safety of old boring dividend payers. Um, AT&T, big move. Take a look at Verizon. Now, Verizon's been really choppy, really volatile. Wouldn't necessarily recommend it just yet, but as you can see, um, really surging here in uh, Verizon. When we look at some of those old, very boring um, stocks out there, uh, Mondeley is holding up really well. Um, Colgate Palmolive could be setting up. Uh, things like Clorox have been racing and running to the upside. All boring dividend safety type plays have been um, showing lots and lots of strength to the upside. Things like Altria holding in there in a nice bullish pattern. Coca-Cola could be setting up for that next upside move. So there's so many of these charts looking bullish. It's hard to mistake the fact that there is a rotation that's happening in the market. Um, these only rally when institutions support them. Um, it's just that retail cannot move these big behemoths of companies. Um, it's institutional rotation into safety so please be aware of that and be thinking carefully about how you might be able to take advantage of some of these trades if this continues take a look at stocks like procter and gamble 
looking really good in the market. Now, yesterday we had some major disappointing news. JP Morgan um, coming out with some revisions. Big selling came in here on stocks like JP Morgan. Now, I wouldn't chase this down, but I think any rally back, if we take a look, failed its 50 day moving average yesterday in one fell swoop. Any rally back. I think might set up that next opportunity for a short in JP Morgan. And you can look at a lot of the banks uh, for that kind of thing. Now, XLF on its own, nothing wrong with this. We're pulling back into some, some support. We got so stretched away from that 50 day moving average. You may be able to buy a basket of banks and still be okay as long as we can hold that support, kind of waiting for that 50 day moving average to move up. Boy, but I got to tell you, when you look at stocks like uh, BAC, um, I'm not showing, or I'm not feeling a whole lot of confidence here right now in BAC and that potential um, a continuation after failing its 50 day moving average down toward that 200 day and city city dropping right through its 200 day yesterday so some of our major banks are running into problems you would want to also be keeping an eye on kre pretty substantial pullback and possibly a lower high uh, coming into the play into play here on those regionals so watch that closely if we continue to fail on through support and that 50 day could be critical here in the market um, other places to really be paying attention to is again in that safety area take a look at utilities utilities i've been talking about them since all the way back here um, utilities um, continue to straight stay strong continue to move to the upside and there's plenty of evidence in these companies uh, or in this sector of really strong moves NEE Southern Company Consolidated Edison a lot of bullishness in these stocks so make sure you're keeping an eye on some of those places here in utilities you might also want to take a quick look at some real estate trusts some real estate trusts are moving to the upside pretty nicely and it's simply because folks are looking for some safety in that dividend yield in those trades so keep an eye on those um, other places take a look at Ross stores now Ross stores had a really rough day yesterday but rallied back here pretty substantially putting this hammer in if it can follow through here today you can see my price alert up here in the chart looking for that opportunity that that might push on through and pop to the upside. As I said yesterday, however, I cannot rule out the possibility with this possible lower high that could come in here that this could turn and fade into a short pattern. So watch that closely. Things like Fastenal, boy Fastenal, real volatile move here recently where we dropped, we broke trend, fell below, really strong rally in here yesterday coming back up here to this alert that I had on this little consolidation area what it has to do now breaking this downtrend coming back up through that support is it has to prove to me it can hold we don't want to chase something that races up into a resistance and can't prove to hold and whipsaw right back down so watch carefully in here for that resting pattern to see if that can hold in there looking for those opportunities to trade take a look at uh, stocks like fedex fedex also fading you know if, if we're a really strong economic com uh, country right now and um if if that is your belief then i would be looking at some of these shippers because uh, consumers need to keep spending if we're going to be that very very bullish market I personally am not seeing that kind of spending from the retailers picking up. I think it's weakening pretty dramatically. But keep an eye on this. We're still trying to hold this downtrending area in the chart. If we can get some bullish action coming in here, pushing up, well, then we might have that opportunity. This right here, that consolidation failure, doesn't give me a whole lot of confidence. If this were to come back up into resistance, 
well I'm going to be watching for that next potential uh, failure to the downside so keep a close eye on that boy poor Disney it just can't seem to get out of its way in here I was looking at this as a potential bullish trade right in here after rallying up coming up out of that bottom but it just continues to fade back not looking so good overall in the chart um, if we take a look at some of the big industrials caterpillar pretty ugly failure of a support again it is trying to consolidate here just a bit but remember that's at a potential lower high watch for that opportunity that that could move on lower and boeing boeing having a real tough time here very bearish candle pattern there um, after breaking through some major support areas in the chart looks to me like boeing could have um, substantially more downside coming in the chart so watch that carefully one bright spot in the tech sector would be ibm ibm continues to look beautiful to be very very strong where other techs are not doing so well ibm has just been ripping from this alert right in here to the upside looking really good overall and i think there's every reason to believe it could continue to make that move keep a close eye on it and last but not least the defensive sector stock in here tap has had quite a quite a ride in volatility big pop up here consolidating now pulling right back to this breakout area in the chart because we're struggling with this major resistance in tap i still think it might be worth keeping an eye on this in this chart if this tends uh, could be right in here if a redraw of that line could be that upside trend so if it can find support in here look for that opportunity maybe to come around here and tap so there's a few things for you to pay attention today running this video a little bit long so i'm going to wrap this up and say thank you very much for being here thank you so much for your kind support of this content i really appreciate it i wish you all of the best today hope everyone has a productive and profitable day and i'll see you right back here bright and early thursday morning take care